Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William. Today I'm talking about the five best boots for fall that you're gonna wanna get your hands on. Let's get into it. <laughs> Welcome on in. Again, my name's William. This is Boot Spy. Today we're talking about the five best boots for fall. Starting off, number one, it is the Thursday Logger. Now I'm talking about the Thursday Logger, specifically in the waxed cocoa. This is a Horween leather. It has a couple of unique elements to it that I really like. I think it's an excellent fall boot and I'm super excited for when the leaves start turning. I'm gonna wear this bad boy all around town. So a couple of unique features about it is it does have the leather stacked Cuban heel, which you can see here is an interesting shape, a little bit different. And it also has this Vibram uh, heavy rubber lug sole. So this has a ton of traction. It also features a 360 degree Goodyear welt. Again, Horween wax cocoa leather. It has flat waxed organic cotton laces, bunch of nickel eyelets all the way up to the top. It is an eight inch boot, so it is very, very tall. As far as construction goes, it is triple stitched along the upper and the toe cap and it is made in the USA. There are a few other options. They have the matte black and the Arizona Adobe. Those are both Thursday leathers, I believe from Lafarque Tannery in Mexico, but I'm all about the waxed cocoa from Horween. I think this is the best version of this boot. Uh, this leather is phenomenal. I've loved wearing it. I wore it earlier in the spring, uh, earlier this year, through a bunch of mud, a bunch of rain, and it held up super well, and so, you know, summer, it's really hot in North Carolina and it doesn't even make really that much sense to wear this boot then. But when fall rolls around, uh, I'm super excited to bust this bad boy out again. This boot goes for $285. It's one of Thursday's more expensive boots, but you are getting a Vibram sole Horween leather and it is also built in the United States. Number two on our list, we're going a little bit classy, but still staying casual. This is Boots by after all. We're talking about the Taft Dillon. Now I'm specifically talking about the Taft Dillon in the woven texture. There are uh, Dillon boots in white, black, and also beige. Beige is a little more springtime oriented. I think that the woven is perfect for fall because it has so much texture on this boot. Now just check out this texture. That's crazy. This is such a good looking boot. Now this retails for $3.95, where the other Taft Dillons retail for $2.95. So it's a little bit more expensive, but this is truly a one of a kind boot. Like just look at this texture. It is a jodhpur, so it has the hardware right here. It's fully leather lined. It has a Blake stitch, leather sole, steel shank, and rubber TPU inserts for a little bit of added traction. Again, I like the Taft Dillon in this woven pattern because you have so much extra texture. If you wear this with a wool suit or if you wear it with wool trousers, it just will elevate your outfit so much more and that makes it a perfect boot for fall. Not every guy likes a slim, classy boot like that. Some guys like a more rugged type of boot. And for that, item number three on our list, best boots for fall is the Red Wing Classic Ma. Now this is the Slate Mule Skinner leather and I have fallen in love with this since Red Wing released this in spring 2021. Of course, you're dealing with the classic wedge sole, 360 degree Goodyear welt. This is not lined, but it does have this little leather collar around the top of the ankle. You have no speed hooks here, just straight up antique eyelets. It has the classic mock toe. As you can see, this is very well done. This is super sturdy. This leather right here is super water resistant and you pair that with the 360 degree Goodyear welt. You have a fantastic boot for battling against any of the weather, if it's raining, if it's snowing a lot where you're at. This boot is gonna handle that, but still have this nice kind of suede-like texture to it. Again, like I said with the Taft Dillon, texture, that's where you, you wanna emphasize texture and fall from a style perspective. And if you get the Red Wing Classic Toe in, uh, Classic Mock Toe in the Slate Mule Skinner, you got texture for days. One thing that surprised me about this boot is that this wedge sole actually has a ton of traction on it. I thought it'd be pretty slippy because if you could tell the tread, it doesn't really look all that deep or anything like that but it actually performed really well. I took it on a hike and was on some pretty slippery rocks, which is not what this boot's meant for. I did it anyway. Uh, but I went on some slippery rocks and it performed really, really well. So that definitely impressed me and it makes me confident that this is gonna be a rockin' boot for fall. Now the Red Wing Classic Mock Toe is right around the $300 range. So if you want something a little bit cheaper, uh, but you like that look, you like that style, then I also gotta recommend the Thoroughgood Mock Toe. This again, 360 degree Goodyear Stormwell. It does have speed hooks here. It has a final eyelet here, which I don't like. I don't know why that's there, uh, but it doesn't really make much of a difference. Still a fantastic boot. This is in uh, Thoroughgood's tobacco leather, which is very similar to the classic 
Red Wing Oro Legacy leather or what they used to call the Irish Setter leather. So this is a very, very similar golden color. Uh, it also has the wedge sole, very similar. Uh, they kind of took this design from Vibram Christie, but this is made by Thoroughgood themselves, so it's a little bit harder. That helps with the abrasion resistance in the heel. Makes this, this heel's gonna last a little bit longer than say on the Red Wing Classic Mach, but it doesn't have as much slip resistance. Between the Red Wing and the Thoroughgood, I would pick the Red Wing Classic Mach for style, but I would definitely pick the Thoroughgood Mach 2 for work because it's cheaper and uh, you know, I don't, I'm not gonna worry so much about beating this one up. Item number four, if you could only wear one pair of boots throughout all of fall, this is going to be the most versatile. It is a classic lace-up and it is fantastic quality. It is the Grant Stone Diesel. Right here I'm holding the most popular version of the Grant Stone Diesel. It's also Grant Stone's most popular selling item that they even have. Uh, but this is made with brown Horween Chrome XL leather. It has a 360 degree split storm Goodyear welt with natural leather right there. So you have this nice uh, two-tone right here. It looks really good with almost any outfit you're gonna wear in fall. So if you have khaki pants, olive pants, anything like that, you're wearing denim, raw denim, uh, deep indigos, any sort of color like that, it's gonna, this is just adds a little bit of refinement that you don't get with most boots. It looks super cool. I just love that two-tone, that contrast that is right here. Now, you also have brass eyelets that adds a lot of class. These will patina as well, in addition to the leather. It is fully leather lined, and it has a custom rubber studded sole. Of all the boot brands I've tried, Grant Stone really does a fantastic job with their stitch density. All the way around, I'm talking about even the Goodyear Welt uh, and along the upper, they really, really take a lot of time, a lot of care in manufacturing their boots. So these are super, super durable. I would compare these to Alden, somewhere up in you know some of those boots in the $400, $500 range, but you can pick these up in the mid 300s and it's truly, truly a fantastic deal. Because you're dealing with Horween Chrome XL, they have a pretty nice shine to them. They're gonna crease a little bit as you wear them throughout the season, but really you can hit them with some Saphir or some Venetian shoe cream and they will look pretty much good as new as soon as fall's over. If you're looking for one new pair of boots to wear throughout all of fall, I would pick up the Grant Stone Diesel. To round this list out, I needed to have a dress boot in there and I am super excited to wear this one throughout fall. It is the Beckett Simenon Elliott Balmoral boot. Now you might be wondering, what is a Balmoral boot? Well, it's very similar to an Oxford in that it has this closed lacing system, but it's a little bit taller, has a taller shaft, and that makes it a boot. Now, this one from the Elliott Balmoral from Beckett Simenon has four speed laces, so it's really easy to put on and off. It has some broguing detail along the toe cap, has a Blake stitched welt, and a rubber sole. In my opinion, Beckett Simenon is one of the best value brands you can find on the internet. Uh, but that does come with some downsides. Now, they source all their leather from Argentina and it is super high quality. They craft these boots in Colombia by hand. So you get incredible quality all the way throughout, but there is the trade-off in that because these boots are made to order handmade, it can take eight to 10 weeks for you to actually get. So some of them are in stock. You can buy them and they'll ship out and you'll get them like five days later, like a standard, any standard boot company. But some of them, if you really like the look of the boot, you check it out, you're like, bam, I want those. You put them in your cart. You might, you could expect an eight to 10 week wait. In my opinion, that's totally worth it. This is my second pair of boots from Beckett Simenon. I also have their Jodhpur boots in black. These feel amazing on your feet. They, they're heavy enough. The leather is super thick and it's really, really high quality. Like this leather, I think it like stained my pants because it was so oily when I took it out. It was really, really richly packed with oils, waxes. They do a nice job with the shine. It looks super classy. And I really like the toe that they do. This is kind of a very popular style in Europe, not so much in, a, in the United States, but it just looks really classy. And so this boot helps you stand out in a crowd, like this definitely looks like a, an expensive, really rich boot, but it's well under $300. And that's because, you know, there is that made to order factor in it. So if you're willing to wait eight to 10 weeks, you get a made to order pair of boots. It is significantly less expensive, but the quality is up there with any $400, $500 pair of boots on the market. I wanted to have an honorable mention in here. This boot didn't quite make my list for best boots of fall because it's a little bit funky looking and I didn't know, you know, a lot of guys, they might not appreciate the style, but I think it's super cool. It is the Koyo Chelsea boot. Again, I picked this up in their brown suede. When you're going for fall, you want a lot of texture, so suede is your friend in fall. 
This one's pretty interesting. It has a seven inch shaft with a very deep elastic gore right here. Um, yeah, it's a tall boot, so it's pretty unique in that. And it has a very, very tall rubber lug outsole. This is extra light outsole. So what that means is it is super lightweight. This is the lightest weight boot on this entire list, even you know compared to the dress boot, all that stuff. And like I said, this is made by Koyo. Their specialty is in minimalist white sneakers. I had a pair of their minimalist white sneakers, the Capri. Love those, those help me all throughout summer, but it's boot season again. Uh, so I wanted to pick up another thing. I really trust the quality of Koyo. They do a great job. And this is a very fashion forward boot with a super unique, pretty, uh, pretty. Uh, you know, it has a like a, a future workman, like a space. I feel like I'm like a moon miner or something like that when I wear these. So these are super cool and I'm really excited to wear them. They do have a, a cemented sole. So unlike everything else on this list, this is not recraftable. I don't think you're gonna have to worry about that so much because this is such a thick sole, but it's not recraftable. Again, I really trust the quality of Koyo though. So sometimes you get cemented soles where they'll, they'll peel off. I don't think it's gonna happen with Koyo. Um, again, I've had their white sneakers for, for about a year now and they've held up super well all throughout summer. So I'm excited to try these boots out. Which of these six boots do you like the best? Also, if there's anything I left off this list, please let me know what your favorite boot for fall is down in the comments below. If you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Both are super helpful for the channel and I really, really appreciate it. Again, thank you so much for joining me and until next time, put your best boot forward.